going well. At least one of us is working. <laughs> Look at you. You got wet. You think? <laughs> you think? Thankfully, the rain died oh. down. Once the rain died Dude. down, I figured I better come out and help. Yeah. Uh, that's wise. <laughs> This is a 1987 Ford Mustang GT barn find. This just came out of long-term storage. It's been in a storage barn, but it had a car cover on it. Not been driven for uh, between seven and 10 years. Best that the owners can figure. I got it from a gentleman who uh, bought it in 1988 and has had it ever since his wife drove it back and forth to work only in the summer so it has got uh, very little to no rust it is the GT 5.0 liters of fury this is completely stock he said the only thing that he's ever done to this car is they put a radiator in it a couple of years ago. And he put a battery in it to uh, get it out of the storage garage. And one muffler. The other muffler is still original. But they are rated at 225 horsepower. This has the original. He's put one set of tires on it. The Goodyear Eagle VR60 tires. It still has the factory turbine wheels. All original paint. You can tell Ford had a problem with the paint adhesion on blue cars, white cars, some silver cars. So we got some paint flake here. A little bit of paint flake here. Uh, a scratch a little bit of paint flake here and maybe some chips something going on here paint flake here has a handful of door dings this car was a go fast car because it has very few options. As you can tell, door panels are beautiful. Manual crank windows, manual locks, manual adjusting mirrors. It does have the sport seats. It is a five speed. And thankfully, Minnesota, if they don't drive them in the winter, Minnesota is fairly kind to the interiors because the sun isn't that hot. Notice this, the ashtray cover, not broken. This car had AM FM radio with cassette. It had air conditioning. It had cruise control. And that's it. No more options that I know of. It did have the map light, which is pretty cool. Doesn't look like the bulb is any good, but headliner is nice. Rear seats are nice. Probably no one ever sat in the rear seat. Driver seat's nice. We are uh, gonna take a few minutes and see what this thing will look like with just a basic cleaning and detailing. We've got a cars and coffee event. We're gonna drive this thing to in the morning and see uh, what the public thinks of one of these survivors. I don't think there's many of these left that are all original like this. Um, they must have opened the door a hundred times into something. Got some door dings there. There's a pretty good dent here. 
There's a couple dents in the roof here. There's a dent. And I think there was some things that they started stacking on the roof. There's some pretty good dents here. 87, first year of this new body style. This is the new Ford Mustang GT. With its unmistakably new body surrounding an equally dramatic 5-liter port fuel injected engine, it's easy to pick out the Mustang GT from a crowd. Not that it's likely to be in one. This is the new Mustang GT. Have you driven a Ford lately? The earlier 86, they called him the Four-Eyed Fox. So they would have had four headlights. So the 87, they changed the composite headlights. They had this uh, fog lamps, the circular fog lamps. This whole skirting came with the GT, the whole body kit. The turbine wheels were awesome. I always re loved the taillights. Do you like these taillights, Will? These were GT only taillights. Yeah, I think they're cool. They just, I just loved them. Some of these cars would have had an optional sunroof. Uh, 87 would have had an optional T-top. Very rare. 87 and a few months into 88, you could have had a T-top GT Mustang. But nowadays, I am glad this has none of those because the weather strips would fail, water would leak into the car, would rust out the floor pans. Just generally a lot more maintenance over time. This car was a base car as far as options go, but again, I sort of prefer that because it's a lot less things to maintain and fix. They didn't keep these turbine wheels for a super long time. They came out in 87. I think in 91, they came out with the pony wheels which were really cool. Everyone loved the ponies. They were a five spoke. These are 15 inch. The ponies went to 16 inch because these, these turbine wheels are hard to clean and maintain. You have brake dust in them and you got to scrub them every spoke. They're a, they're a clear coated wheel so you can't really use harsh chemicals. So an 86 86 Mustang GT was the first car I ever bought with my own money. Rust proofing is what makes it look dirty. Oh. If you look here, that looks like mud. That's all that rust proofing and undercoating. Mm -hmm. So on some high-end cars uh, like Trans Am, stuff like that, Dennis Collins is getting all of this off, which I guess is really difficult to do. We're not gonna try to do that today. When you're looking at one of these cars, this shock tower where it reaches a frame rail, normally they start rusting right there. Obviously this thing is really clean, probably because of the rust proofing, and it's never been driven in a winter. I used to detail cars when I was a teenager, probably like Will's age but I didn't have my own pressure washer, so I had to drive to the coin-operated car wash. And I was always nervous because you pressure wash the motor, and if you get water in the distributor or on the plug wires, it won't start. So then I would be stranded there. So that's no fun. Now this is rare. This boot Ford put on the distributor. Most of the time people, once they took it off, they threw it away. So to have one still there is pretty nice. Perfect. So here's
here you have it. First wash in a decade. And it doesn't really look any better. The tires look shiny. Will is starting his uh, cleaning the seat. He's using his own cleaner that he concocted. And it works excellent. It's kind of gentle on fabric. Pulls out stains. Getting a good scrub. Driver's seat, as you can tell, has a slight tear in the vinyl. We're going to have to get that cleaned at the upholstery shop. I'm going to see if this paint comes back. Okay, well, this is just like a few minutes. Wow. So look at this. It's starting to come back. You can tell here the original color is starting to come back. I had no idea that's what color it was. That's almost like Acapulco blue. That's beautiful. Is that? Do you like that color blue? Yeah. That's I like amazing. I this color blue. <laughs> I know it's amazing. Wow. I'm gonna keep working at it, but that is. I didn't think it'd come back like that. So the car, not perfect, but it cleaned up nice. Way, way better than it was. That paint came back. Uh, looks like this latch is not working. Of course, the struts are bad. interior my son worked his magic we're gonna have to get this repaired you know those are the original floor mats I just threw them back in the carpets came out really nice this is such a clean such a nice car all original first wash in a decade this thing has absolutely come back to life it's amazing well now I'm gonna go to cars and coffee and let's see if anybody has any reaction to this all-original 87 Mustang GT Never been painted. Literally, it's had a muffler and a radiator replaced. Other than that, all original, down to the radiator hoses. This car is so original. It is a time capsule. We're gonna see if anybody at Cars and Coffee even notices this thing, because I'm telling you, there's gonna be Lamborghinis, Ferraris, new Corvettes, all the latest and greatest hot rods. And then this old, <laughs> this old tattered Mustang. <laughs> I don't know, maybe no one will care about it. It'll just look like an old Mustang. But, I don't know, it's pretty cool. If you like Mustangs, that one's pretty cool. This is Will's first experience in the old Fox body. The mighty Fox body. I like it. You like it? <laughs> I do. What do you like about it? It's. It's fun to drive. It's not like, not extremely fast, but a little sporty feeling, a little peppy. Yeah, they have a lot of torque. They had uh, like 225 horse and like 300 foot pounds of torque. So they're nice and torquey. Finally made it. Mustang 
Got a new Bronco. Chevelle. This is Jeff. I just met him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but his name is Jeff. He's a good guy. Oh, this is the dream car. This, this is one of my favorites. Would you like this car? Is that, if, if I got one of those? Um, no? So if you're asking me what I would like as in what I would want. Yes. I would want like a 50s Porsche. I can't hear you. Coolest thing ever is okay. right over here. Okay, let's here we gotta we gotta shield your eyes, do a grand okay. reveal. This is it. You fit look in, at bro. this. I want it so bad, so, so bad. Cool. Look at that shag carpet. Oh, you got just. The, I like oh, the cooler. Those yes. Coleman coolers. Yep. Where do you find those anymore? This is so cool. Two benches. What's the name? What does the name signify? Did you? I'm a Neil Young fan. Oh, oh. got it. Okay. <laughs> got. So is this benches. a survivor? Or did you guys restore it? Really? Then Pentagon windows. Oh. <laughs> wow. We could really get some work done back here. Well. Wooden running boards. Sweet. We'll drive that in the rain. Yeah, this, this is amazing Survivor. <laughs> the old Mustang, it looks a little, <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't fit in too good. <laughs> nope. That's all right. Seven point nine. Wow. Oh, do you like this Mustang? Yes, I love this Mustang. This is an era that is not necessarily love. I think it's so cool. What do you mean? Because <laughs> it's like a 71, so that it became like a really long, uh -huh. big Mustang. Uh -huh. I feel like that's the beauty of it, though. Yeah.